Welcome back everyone. All right. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to go ahead and, and delete this if statement because we don't really need it anymore. And uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, yeah, everything works out good here. I'll just move this over. Now one thing that we can do is we can actually change the CSS or any style point within JavaScript. And it's actually, it's actually kind of cool. So what, what, what it is is that technically you can do everything within this HTML file. If you really wanted to, you could add in the script, you can add in the style points, uh, etc. So you, essentially if you wanted to change anything here, you can do that. The reason why CSS and JavaScript were invented, uh, and for the most part why they are in separate files, is to make it look a lot easier. Okay, so as you can see, the CSS, uh, remember, it changes the style of it, so it makes it, so the, the short answer is that it makes it look different. And what I'll do here is I'm going to change this paragraph text. Uh, I'm going to change the color. So how do we do that? So again, if we just simply run the program here, you can see that it works out. But what we need to do is we need to go ahead and we need to find this here. Remember, we need to find this tag, okay? And in order to do that, we do document dot get element by ID, simple enough. And then of course, which one are we getting? We're getting paragraph text, okay? And this time though, we're gonna go dot style because again, there are styled, uh, in the HTML there are style tags and in CSS we essentially take those style tags out. So dot style and then you type in whatever you want so you can change you know the background color you know the color etc. So let's just change the color it's pretty simple and we'll change it to maroon. And maroon is the most underrated color and there you go. So if I go ahead and I change something so if I type in any kind of word here uh, you can see that it changes. Now you may or may not be able to see that, so I'm going to change it to orange instead. So we're going to change it to orange like that, and there we go. Okay, and you can see that the text changes to orange here. Now, one thing I should probably mention, and um, I have mentioned this in my HTML classes, is that if you type in a paragraph here, uh, for example, and you, you say this is another paragraph like this, uh, you can see that um, they're both in the same color here because what the CSS does is it changes the style tags for everything, right? So if, if P here, um, which is the paragraph tag, we can change it to red. And if I change this to, you know, maroon like that, you can see that they, they change to maroon. But when we run this here, so I type in the word fun, right? And you'll see that the top one changes to orange, but the bottom one doesn't. And why is that? Is because this one has the ID paragraph tag. Now if I go ahead and copy this paragraph tag and move it down here, watch what happens. I change it to the word fun, and you can see that here, this one doesn't change. It's because it already has an ID, right? Uh, it won't change because, again, it's already being referenced, okay? And so for the most part, that is how you change style tags with JavaScript. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.